the social security benefit payment schedule for april 2023 now guess what guys april month is jam-packed with very important dates we actually got seven to eight important dates right here in the month of april 2023 and this one including people on social security ssi supplemental security income ssdi survivors retirement va beneficiaries people on rrb everyone underneath the social security radar so Without further ado, let's get right into all the details. You got some tax deadlines, release of the important economic data, the CPI figure. Be sure to mark out the payment schedule as well for the social security beneficiaries onto your calendars. Stay top on the, all the deadlines and events which are relevant to you. As always, it's a busy month. All right, guys. Now, when it comes to the April 2023 benefit payment schedule for all the social security beneficiaries, I have got all the dates, all the key dates that you need to know right now right over here i will lay down all the important dates when it comes down to benefits when your benefits are coming in so without further ado let's get right into it however guys quickly before we start make sure to subscribe to our channel turn on all the bell notifications so you'll never miss new updates from our channel make sure to hit that like share this video and when it comes down to all the latest updates related to social security and your benefits it's very important to keep track on all the important changes and that's why i'm here for you so make sure to subscribe and without further ado let's get right into all the details all right guys so let's talk about some of the key dates in the month of april 2023 for which all the social security beneficiaries should mark their calendars now about 70 billion beneficiaries will be going to receive their payments on first of the april well actually that's what you generally thought but here is the thing guys yes definitely we are talking about the april 2023 social security benefit payment schedule but in fact if you check out the first of the april well that's not you are going to get any sort of a payment typically all the ssi beneficiaries generally do receive their payments on first of each and every month but you know what guys first of the april happens to be landing on saturday you know what when that happens and that's the reason why your first of the april ssi payment will be actually heading on you know just a couple of days early so continue to watch 31st of the march 2023 that's when your april ssi supplemental security income benefits will be coming into your bank account direct express card mails so be sure to check out your payments over there on third first of the march about 56 million americans will be going to receive their payments so be sure to check out now moving on the next important date is april 3rd now you know what guys some of you right here into the community will be going to receive their payments on 3rd of the april and this one including those group of recipient if you have received your social security before may 1997 or somebody receiving both social security and ssi payment together then continue to watch out april 3rd for your social security benefits and as always just remember ssi benefits will be paid out on 31st of the march instead of the 1st of the april now moving forward the next important date is the 12th of the april 2023 now we'll be going to receive their payment on 12th of the april now this is for you those group of recipient whose birth date falls between 1st to 10th of the month then be sure to check out 12th of the april for your social security benefits 12th of the april happens to be falling on on the second of the wednesday which is again a completely normal day so be sure to check out your direct express card mails or bank accounts wherever you usually get your payments moving forward the next important date is actually a week later and it's the third wednesday of the month it's 19th april 2023 now we'll be going to receive their payments now this is for those of you guys whose birth date falls between 11 to 20th of the month then your benefit payments will be available on 19th of the april 2023 so be sure to check out and again it's the third wednesday of the month so just so you mark your calendar now typically you'll be getting your benefits typically loaded on direct express card or your bank account or your direct deposit wherever you have set it to but you know what if you have changed it then be sure to check the alternative payment arrangements if it is correct or not now guys speaking of the social security administration if you are receiving any other types of a federal payment it's very important to know this important dates so that you can know when to expect your money and you are not just waiting and waiting and wondering when maybe the payment will be coming into your bank account when you know this information when your payments are coming out you can plan ahead of the time and have a better idea 
when your payments will be arriving each month so you can plan accordingly and know exactly when to expect your money and be prepared all right guys now moving forward the next important date is actually the fourth wednesday of the month in the april and it's the 26th of the april 2023 now for those social security recipient whose birth date falls between 21st to 31st of the month be sure to check out your direct express card mails or bank account wherever you usually receive your payments continue to watch out 26th of the april 2023 now as always let me summarize all the important dates for you so make sure to watch out 31st of the march for all the ssi payments 3rd of the april for all the social security benefit payments 12th of the april if your birth date falls between 1st to 10th of the month 19th of the april if your benefit social security benefits are coming in if your birth date falls between 11 to 21st of the month and 26th of the april if your birth date falls between 21st to 31st of the month also guys other than this very important date speaking up some other payment schedules talking about when those events will be happening let's check out some of the other dates which are very important as well now right over here on friday april 7th the bureau of labor statistics will be releasing the non-farm payroll number for the month of march now this number will be going to give us a better idea of the jobs created the number of job lost and what kind of a jobs are being created and lost so this will decide the need of the stimulus in the economy so this is gonna be the crucial date on april 7th so be sure to watch this and mark this onto your calendar now moving forward let's talk about some of the other key dates in the rest of the month it's the april 11th now on april 11th the public health emergency declarations was set to expire on either of those two dates so it's either april 11th or april 13th these are very important two dates so and medicaid and extra snap benefits may end for the beneficiaries as a result of this public health emergency declaration expiration so continue to watch 11th of the april or 13th of the april this very important two dates this is going to be the day that you really want to pay attention because you know what this is very important now it is also important to note that april 9th is actually easter sunday that means guys fortunately we don't have any sort of a impact on the distribution of the money or checks or any sort of a benefits because you know what april 9th is falling on a sunday so no worries now again guys i'm reminding you this very important day it's april 11th and april 13th well you know what over 100 million people receive their medicaid benefits and about 50 to 20 million of them may lose their coverage as a result of this very important expiration additionally extra snap benefits have been going out for a really really long time and now finally they are going to end it of course now there is a possibility those declaration could be extended once again but you know what again we'll have to watch that all right now moving forward guys is the april 12th the possibility is there that the declaration will be extended again but as of right now 12th of the april just keep in mind that that's when the cpi data will be released for the month of the month of march from the bureau of labor statistics now right here onto the april 12th this is the day when consumer price index that is the cpi number will be released at 8 30 am and the cpi index will give us an insight into the inflation rate for the month of march now april 12th also comes on a second wednesday of the month so those of you receive the social security retirement ssdi survivors benefits have a birthday between first to tenth of the month this is when your payments will be arriving so be sure to check out april 12th now guys once again this is very important event well i can't guarantee that the extension will happen throughout the rest of the month but typically you know what we can expect to hear some new announcement from the administration president lawmakers we won't know anything re regarding that but we will have to check that now moving forward april 15 is the deadline for filing income tax returns for individuals in the united states this is a very important date for anyone who has not yet filed their tax return and needs to do so in order to avoid penalties and interest and it's very important to note that irs has extended the deadline for the filing taxes from april 15th to may 17th for the tax year the 2020 tax year due to the ongoing pandemic but you know what this may not apply to the state taxes so be sure to check on the guidelines for your particular state regarding those now guys moving forward we got april 22nd which is earth day and the day is to raise awareness about environmental issues and promote sustainability next one is april 30th is the deadline for filing taxes for businesses in the united states
sheets so if you own a business it's very important to make sure you got your paperwork done in order to file your taxes by this important date to avoid any penalties or interest overall guys the april month is a busy with several important dates keep in mind you got some tax deadlines the earth day release of the important economic data the cpi figure be sure to mark out the payment schedule as well for the social security beneficiaries onto your calendars stay top on the all the deadlines and events which are relevant to you as always the april month is busy so make sure to mark your calendars and guys i'm here to provide you all the latest updates so make sure to hit that subscribe button like this video also make sure to turn on all the bell notifications so you won't miss any latest updates from our channel and share this video with your friends subscribe to our channel as it's completely free to do so and this is kedar from how to guys see you in the next video